Welcome to Traypack Container Terminal, one of the most modern container terminals in the world. To help make sure you can deliver and pick up your load as quickly, safely, and as effectively as possible, this video will show you step by step how the terminal is laid out and what you need to do at each stop. First, you will go through the security gate where you will present your TWIC credentials. If you are hearing impaired or have a disability that will require assistance, please notify the guard and they will provide someone to help you with your transaction. Please ensure your seatbelt is on and you are wearing a high visibility safety vest before entering the terminal. Second, you will then select a gate lane. Full containers will use lanes two through nine. Empty containers and bobtails can use any one of the 10 lanes. Once you pull up to the kiosk, your RFID number will be read and the OCR cameras will capture your container and chassis number, linking the two together. You will automatically be connected with a clerk who will ask you for your appointment mission. Once your appointment is successfully submitted into the systems, you will receive a printed EIR or equipment interchange receipt with your routing message. If there is a problem with your transaction, a trouble ticket will be issued to you by the clerk and you should proceed forward to the highly visible trouble booth area where you will be issued a valid equipment interchange receipt. Your EIR will tell you the container number, chassis number, and routing instructions on how to proceed. The routing instructions will tell you which colored line to follow to complete your transaction. For all transactions in automation, you will be instructed to follow the pink line which will lead you to your next stop at the secondary pedestal. You will pull up to the pedestal number corresponding with your EIR. At the pedestal, your RFID tag will automatically be captured by a reader and your transaction will begin processing. Look at the screen where your transaction information is displayed. Make sure the information being displayed matches the information on your EIR. If there are any errors on the screen, please wait until a clerk contacts you through the speaker to resolve your issue. If the color being displayed is in red, it means stay at the pedestal. If the color being displayed is green, it's safe to proceed forward to the block corresponding to your EIR ticket. Now it's time to drive to the block identified on your EIR. Each block has four lanes dedicated to OTR trucks. Select one that is open and back in your truck using the yellow guidelines on the road. As you are backing it into the lane, your RFID will be read to verify that you are in the right block. Continue backing in until your tires hit the parking stops. Once you have felt the stops, you are fully backed in and ready to move on to the next steps. Now that you're in place, get out and unlock the four twist locks on the container. Now step into the booth. The crane will only begin operating when the weight pad registers that you are safely inside the booth. In the booth, you will see a light bar visible to outside. There is a red light, blue light, and a green light. The red and blue light will indicate you must stay in the booth and that the crane is starting to move. To make sure that you are safe and the crane move is not interrupted, it is critical to stay in the booth when the light is red. The crane will remove the container from your truck. You will notice the crane hovering with the container over your truck. This is a safety measure to make sure the container is unpinned from the truck. Once the container is safely stored in the block, the crane will automatically select and bring your next load to your truck. There's also an emergency stop button in the booth. If at any point you feel you're in immediate danger, you can press the emergency stop button and a mechanic will come out to assist you. In most cases, these buttons will not be necessary to push. 
The green light will illuminate once it's safe for you to exit the booth. Lock your new container in place by checking all four pins and exit the lane. Next stop is Roadability, where your chassis will be checked to make sure it's safe to drive over the road. Now you can proceed forward to US Customs Radiation Portal. As you drive through, your container will be scanned for radiation by the yellow pillars. Once you've proceeded through the US Custom Radiation Portal, your last step will be to exit through one of the seven outgate lanes where the OCR reader will verify you have the right container. Your transaction will be automatically completed and you will receive an outgate receipt. If there's an issue, press the button on the pedestal to contact the gate clerk for help. Take the receipt and proceed forward to the final security check. Your RFID tag will be read again to verify one last time that you have completed your transaction correctly. The security gate will open for you automatically and you will exit the terminal.